In Newmarket, speed is everything. Uh, Jared Simpson. This is my like, personal opinion, but I feel a lot more comfortable when I'm going faster than when I'm going slower. I feel like because your mind's just set at one thing and you're more with the rhythm of the horse, like, it just feels better, you know what I mean? First time I went up the Alba Hat I was with May, May and the head travelling girl, and right at the end I went, that was boss, <laughs> as we were still cantering off. Hi, my name's Ollie Turner. I work for Benbrook House. What is it like to ride a Galloper Racehorse? It's one of them feelings you get. It's like adrenaline going. You and your horse are connected. But it's just honestly the best adrenaline rush you'd ever get. Just the adrenaline rush was, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's almost, it's so difficult to describe. It's literally, it's just a buzz. You've got the horse underneath you. You're trying to keep him in control, kind of keep him in rhythm, where it's going the right speed, balanced, everything. A lot of the time you'll see jockeys be riding a race where they've never sort of sat or even seen the horse apart from maybe in video. So um, it's good when you ride them out in the mornings because then you can you can have a feel if they they have a, a turn of foot so you can accelerate into a gap. There's no better feeling. Really? Yeah. And your full pelt. Full pelt. 40 mile an hour. Wow. Smile on your face. It's like a thrill. I think it's yeah. like, it's very, makes you happy, like, if you enjoy the horses, especially if you ride them when you like. Don't really think about the danger of it until it happens. <laughs> <laughs> Newmarket is a melting pot of different nationalities, concentrated in this small Suffolk town in England. All attempted here to ply their trade in the horse business. My name is Kenny Rusty. I'm from Mauritius Island. I'm 26 years old and now I'm currently working for trainer Mr. Michael Bell, racing here in Newmarket. Kenny's journey to the home of racing has taken him from his home in Mauritius across Europe and now Newmarket. There's no one working in horse racing in my family, but my mom is very passionate about horse racing. So every Saturday she used to go to horse racing and then took me to the race along with her. At my age birthday, I asked my mom, like, mom, for my birthday gift, I just want to be a jockey. At that time, we couldn't just afford it. So I got offered instead by the president. He offered me a deal, like, if I wanted to help marking out the stables, I could get free riding lessons. So at age of nine, I just went for it. When I turned 18, I just uh, decided to go to Sweden. Swedish trainer Marie Lustig 
had seen Kenny's Facebook page and was interested in talking to him. The trainer saw on my Facebook profile that I seemed quite light and I was very eager to find a stable and become a jockey. Yeah, she have a racing yard and a riding school. Kenny spent one year at a stable and then moved to Denmark to trainer Mark Stott in our house. There was a trainer in Denmark called uh, trainer Mark Stott who saw me and offered me a contract at his stable. And he was crown champion stable in Aarhus and there was quite by some very good horses and helped me get my license as apprentice over there. Kenny was back and forth between Sweden and Denmark for a couple of years, but then had a chance to work in France, but only for a month, as his work permit only lasted that long. It was always a dream to go to France, you know, yeah. because in Mauritius we look a lot at French horse racing on the TV, oh, so okay. it was kind of a big deal. So to, ambition to go. Yeah, it was one of the ambition to go in the, one of the big countries as well. After his short stay in France, Kenny returned to a small yard in Denmark with only four horses, but got his first ride, where he surprised everyone by finishing fourth. Yeah, but sadly, I was getting rides from many, many trainers in Yagos through the racetrack I was riding as freelance. Yeah. But sadly, I had an injury on my ankle. I couldn't ride for six months. Oh. So from that point, I have to start again and scratch. Then I went back again to France to reshape myself up and, you know, get things going. And then COVID came, I was stuck in Mauritius. You know, there was a big change in the parliament. The government took the horse racing, yeah. created the horse racing division, and they decided to give me a license. Then I went back to Mauritius and I rode the full season last year. When did, you, when did you think that it could happen coming here? When did, did you, have you always wanted to come here? Yes, I had it in the back of my head, but at some point I know like horse racing is such a big thing here, and I never felt before like I was ready for it to step to this level. And I'm very happy I can ride all the loads without problem, and uh, I think my trainer is very happy with me too. So and it was quite a lengthy process with the visa and everything, but yeah. in the end we managed to get it. And here I am, and I'm very grateful for the trainer and everyone to give me that opportunity. It's kind of the same like France, uh, but uh, here it's a very good stable. It's family oriented, everyone chill, and the horses are nice, they behave well, and I'm just loving it here, living life. Yeah, I was quite surprised to see so many horses at the time on the track. On one lot, when we go out on the, you know, the, the track, it's the population of horses in Mauritius. So seeing this many horses around and then cars driving and then we go through roads, all this is new for me. Back at the British Racing School, both sets of students are now perfecting the canter outside. The next step is to take what they've learned to the school's gallops in the round and on the straight. But first they must learn to canter as a string. This term means a line of horses. It takes a higher level of control. But what do the students think of the course they're on? <laughs> Uh, named Joe from Leicester East, the East Midlands. Um, that was just to get into more the breeding side of things, like to work with the stallions and stuff. Yeah, and the young horses. Yeah. So stud farm. Stud farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Around that was, here. Um, yeah, around here or any stud farm anywhere. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I just went first. I wanted to learn how to ride a horse. And is it yeah. what you expect? Um. Is yeah, it is it is yeah, 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 it is yeah, yeah it is challenging. kind of challenging. Yeah, it's challenging. Yeah. And you're halfway through now, so how, how's it been? How, do you feel more confident about it? Um, yeah, especially after seeing the overlap graduate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Much more, much more confident about it. Yeah. And is the cantering a, 
a big step up for you to learn how to do that? Um, yeah, yeah, and hold them back. Countering's all right, but holding, keeping at a steady, um, a steady pace is, is the hardest thing. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What about what's coming up? Are you looking forward to, to going on the, the straight and the, the round? Yeah, I can't wait to get out there, sir. I can't wait. I can't wait for it, really. Yeah. The ultimate goal is probably to become. You know what? I'd like to have my uh, my amateur license. And then just to move on to the to start working with the stallions and the young horses, really. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And probably get my amateur license. Yeah. Get your amateur license too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. That's good, yeah. That's good. I'm Kellyanne. I'm 18 and I've come from London. Not the best place, but it was sort of. How are you finding the um, it was, it's good actually, I'm enjoying it, it's going a lot better than I thought it was going to. I was on a 12 week course before but I fell off, uh, injured myself, so I came back on Mr. Sousa's course. But it's been, I thought at first I thought it would be a little bit slow, but it's actually gone really good so far. I've been enjoying it a lot more. So. And you have, you've had experience in riding already? Yeah, I went to Hadlow last year, um, so I rode for a year there and I had previously loaned X race horses and all sorts of different horses. So, so it's a lot of experience? Yes, yeah. yeah. How are you finding the progression here from crossing, cantering and then further on what's going to happen? Um, I'm quite excited actually, I'm, I'm excited to move on to the rounds. We moved on to the menage really quickly and um, I'm really happy about that. I got really excited when we st first started cantering because obviously I got moved back where I fell off but it was actually, it was really good. A lot of people on the course I thought were going to be a bit like, not worse but like they were actually a lot better than I thought they were going to be which um, so that helped us progress quicker so it was actually it was really good. We're yeah we're all going together yeah exactly yeah, yeah it's good. Um, I, hope, I kind of want to go to a jump yard after this, so I'm looking to go into jumping, which would be... Yeah, I mean, maybe, yeah, landborn maybe, yeah, been looking, so hopefully somewhere nice. Hopefully. My name's Lottie Randall, I'm 19 and I'm from Dorset. And how are you finding the course? It's hit or miss some days. It's very, um, it's quite tough and hard work and quite forward on yourself and you have to push yourself. But at the end of the day, it is, it's great fun, so I enjoy it a lot. What was the best moment? Was it cantering? You were looking yeah, forward to that? Yeah, finally doing a string in the outdoor all together. That was a big achievement, especially for our riding group. And that's the last week or so, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, this, yeah. this week, yeah. And that seemed like a step up from... Yeah, from just from trotting round, it was, yeah, it was, it was lovely to do. What about the experience, like coming here and living here and doing all the other courses and part of it? Uh, definitely moving away from home was difficult. I've always been a, like a home bug, but... Where have you come from? Dorset, Dorset. so down, down south. But no, it's, um, it's great with all your friends and everything. You, you do get into a, it's like a routine, so... And what are you looking forward to coming up? What am I looking forward I mean, to? The round or Obviously the rounds and the straights. Um, but just really to see like my progress, to see where I've come from, not riding much to now obviously riding around on the racehorses is great. So. You had some experience? Not much, just happy hacking on my little cob at home. So, well, <laughs> so what's the what's the end goal? Why why have you come here really essentially? My end goal is I'd love to be a jumps jockey, but that's quite a high achiever dream, so I think just work ride and see how it goes. And would you do that around here or what are you looking to I'm gonna go back home. Back I'm to gonna Dorset. yeah, find someone in Dorset. That's great. Horses or not? No, Honey, we are not doing this stuff where you run forward and try to kill everyone, please. That's it. <laughs> and um, obviously, from refusing to race 12 months ago to having the year like he's had this year, it was just a great day for us. Um, I just said, my favourite. 
immigrating is hard enough but then starting a business and then starting training on top of that is even more difficult than anyone can imagine. Uh, in the work we rolled along. Uh, instead of closing them properly and then we banged them about and them used to the noises. It's early morning at Dylan Cunha's yard. Go to the crossroads. The babies are waiting. He's huge! <laughs> when we start camping, you might want to just watch out. Very good. <laughs> the culture I'm trying to create is work hard, play harder. Thank you.